Okay, what we're going to do this morning, we have a transit, and transits are typically very hard because it's rare to see a transit not loaded full with tools or supplies, plumbing, whatever, HVAC stuff. And of course, that in combination with a smaller engine bay, unlike the 150, what happens is you get a lot more heat that's generated by the cylinder head and, of course, the manifold. Um, with this one, um, Juan has taken off the front end, which is great because normally we go up from the bottom side underneath it and put it up on a lift and we struggle to get in there but this is very very helpful it takes a little bit longer to take the front end off but uh, i think it's very very accessible to get us get in there now what we're going to use is standard in our elizabeth kit or our 3.5 kit is a uh, platinum bits uh, these are pretty good because what we're going to do these typically get a lot harder because of the size in fact it is hot and what we're going to do is we're going to use our platinum bits for our goal. Now our gold ones, due to sequential drilling, are going to be fine. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get a hole through it um, first, and then we're going to use those. So these will take uh, around 1,000 RPM. I'm going to show you. We're going to go ahead and uh, put the uh, bit in the, the drill bushing by hand so we make sure we don't damage the bit. And then we're going to tap it a couple of times, three or four times just to create a divot. That's going to help us keep the bit from walking off center and make sure we're straight. The other thing it's going to do it's gonna allow us to engage the full cutting edge, which is really essential. These bits will cut up to a Rockwell 90, which is very, very hard material, but if you're not using the full cutting edge, obviously, you can diminish that amount of cutting ability, okay? So we're gonna get started. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my drill chuck by hand like I'm doing until I hit the top of the stud. That's essential because we've got such a snug fit between the bit and the bushing that what will happen is invariably, you think you're in, you hit the drill, pops in, but what you've done is uh, not cutting chip off the bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tap my drill bit on and off about five times, bump it on and off. So you see I drilled right through it because these bits are designed to cut through the real, real hard studs that are common in this transit. Uh, with a uh, 3.5 eco boost. So what we're going to do, what uh, we did is we replaced the uh, 188 bushing, that's a PVB 188, with the 266. Now we use two types of bushings for drilling out and chasing the threads. The first one is a 266, we use that for aluminum heads, and we use a 270 for our cast iron heads, like it's a diesel and some of your older engines. The reason for that is the aluminum heads have a tendency that where the they're tapped from the factory a little bit sloppier than a cast iron head. So we want to be on the underside of the 8 millimeter tolerance. If you look at the 8 millimeter tolerance between 262, 264, to 272. So we're right in the middle, 266, and then the top end is a 270. We're going to use a 266 for this, this little bit of metal, okay? What we want to do is put a drop of oil on the end of it. Uh, your Pro Lube comes with a kit, and uh, not too much, too much will prohibit drilling. Uh, and same thing I did before, I'm going to go ahead and rotate my drill by hand until it hits the top of the stud and I see it drops in and then I want to bump it a couple times. And again, the, the technique is to make sure you pump your drill on and off, on and off, because as I said earlier, that divot is extremely important because like anything else, when you load it equally across the cutting edge, you get better cutting efficiency and longer bit life. If you try to go right ahead, right away, without doing that divot and bumping your drill on, you're gonna limit the life and you're gonna limit the capability that thing's gonna cut. So this is the way, you'll see this in the instructions, so take a look at it, make sure you read it, and it shouldn't have any problems, it's a great success. All right, what we're doing now is we have the 266, uh, 2320 uh, bushing in, and that's going to be for our tap. So we're going to take our tap, and uh, here again, we're going we're gonna to lubricate each flue of the tap, and I'll show you how we're going to put that in a second, okay? I've gone ahead and put in my uh, 2320 bushing in. I've already started my tap. I've oiled, lubricated all four flutes, and what I do is I like to turn my tap in about a full turn, back it up, and then go ahead and blow my air gun down through the flute so I can clean all the debris. You're going to find it yeah, because it's machine grade. It's going to cut real easy. 
and uh, we want to make sure we don't get the cap locked in there so we jam it up. So you can see it cuts real nice. We're just basically chasing the thread and now I'm going to back it up and again clear all the debris from the uh, flute of the cap. As simple as that. We're going to tap it down through and we're ready to go. We're stored it to factory new and we're good to go. That quick. No extractor. Don't have to worry about breaking the extractor off. We've got those quick. So we start out with a 188 on a uh, transit with an EcoBoost engine in it. We go to the 266. That's our gold. 188 platinum. 266 gold. And then our gold uh, machine grade tap. And you're good to go. All right? Thanks for watching.